Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and this is part two of the series of scanning into Sidekick 365 XRM Pro. In this short video, I'm going to show you how the scans actually get into Sidekick from a Kodak scanner. I also want to show you how you do settings so you can determine where to store the scans from your device, whatever that happens to be, and also how you tell the utility where your instance of Sidekick lives. So let's start with the configuration file. As you'll recall in the last video, I told you that you would install the utility onto a PC that's hooked up somewhere in your network. And on that PC is going to be a file for configuring where Sidekick reads the files from and where it puts them. So let's take a look at that config file. It'll be in the same directory as where you install the upload utility. And here's the URL that points to the app, Sidekick 365 XRM Pro, when you install it up into the cloud or on-premise. This is the location where the scans are. So as long as the PC has connectivity and can see the scan files, you can upload them. So here's where they are after they're scanned, and here's where they're pushed into. And think of the utility as sort of a broker. It picks up the scans. We don't actually handle the scanning, but if we pick it up, we look at them, we let you tag it. The utility stores those tags, and then it uses this value to understand where to read the information that's displayed around opportunities and accounts, and then where to actually push the files once they're uploaded. So let's go do a couple of scans here and see how all this works. Let's go back into Sidekick, and you'll see that I'm looking at an opportunity right now with no documents. Now, in my scanner, I have a Kodak i2800 hooked up to this PC, and I have a stack of papers in the hopper. And I've just gone ahead now, and I'm hitting the button. It's one touch to scan the documents in, and you can probably hear it in the background. Now, what's nice about the scanner is in the Kodak um, software that's shipped for free with the product, with their scanner, it has the ability to look for blank pages and also to separate these files into separate um, files on my C drive based upon the blank page that it sees. So right now it's taking a look at everything. It's just going through and, and evaluating what's in there. You can see the pages coming up pretty quickly now. And it's looking for those blank pages. As soon as the scanning software is completed, I'll have a message telling me how many pages that I've uploaded and how many files those actually became. So there's a blank page there. It'll be just another moment. And then you'll see that I'll have three files here I can upload. So we'll go ahead and see that in a minute. It has two blank sheets, and it has three files then. If you think about it in the stack, I've got a document, a blank page, a document, a blank page, and another document. So the software correctly identified that there's three files. And again, the great thing is, is this software comes shipped with the scanner from Kodak. It's called Smart Touch, and there's no additional charge for it. So let's say OK. And now what you'll see is the images are being formatted so they're searchable PDFs. All this is done by the Kodak software that ships with the scanner. If you have additional software, maybe it's a, a different company's uh, scanning utility, that's fine. We just need you to dump off the PDF files somewhere we can see them. And, and then we'll kick off our utility to look at those, let you tag them, and load them up into Sidekick, whether that's in the cloud or on-premise. So we're just coming up now into the app, and I'm going to sign in now. So let me go ahead and do that. And I've put in my name. I'm going to put in my credential now. And I'll go ahead and say, keep me signed in. And now what should happen is we should see uh, the image files that we've uploaded. Uh, right now they're sitting on my C drive, and I'll be able to see what these documents look like. So here's the first one. It's a monitor system, and you can see it's going through and, and uh, putting them together for me. So here they are. Here's the files. Here's the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and start by tagging that. I'll call this one uh, some kind of a, a manual. And I'm going to put this in with uh, let's say a limousine service and we'll put this on to uh, opportunity uh, 
two. That's simple enough. And now my category, it, well, it's not a product. It's not an email. So let's go ahead and make a new category. And we'll call this one a manual. So it'll take just a moment here. I click on the button for new. And I'm going to type in the term manual and say OK. And now when I do that, I'll have manual now is in the drop down. I'll go ahead and pick that again and pick two. And now I'll go to the next document. Here's my poppy seed muffin recipe. And this one I'm going to go ahead and stay in the limousine service. This one I'll just call a product because it's a product uh, that we're making. And the last one, the same, we'll call this one a product. And now we've got all of our documents tagged with a category, an account. And let's just make sure to give them a good name. We'll call this one Poppy Seed Recipe. And the next final document, we'll call this one Spaghetti. OK, so now I've got a name, account, an opportunity, and a product category, uh, a category for the document. Now let's upload them. So I just hit the button. It'll take just a moment to grab the files from my local drive, push them up into the cloud in the right place. And this is going to be on Opportunity 2. I see that the three files loaded successfully, none failed. And let's close this now and go look at our opportunities. So I go ahead and click my Opportunity list in Sidekick. And what I'll see is a list of all my opportunities that are coming up. And I want to look at Opportunity number 2. And I select that as well. There's about a thousand opportunities loaded into Sidekick in this instance. And then you see I have a number of documents here. So let's take a look at them. So by clicking on that tab, I will see that I've got the manual, the poppy seed recipe, the spaghetti. Let's look at that manual. So I'll take just a moment here. And there's our document that we scanned in. So now it's up in the cloud. It's in Office 365 and ready for everyone in my group to use it. Let's go back a minute. We'll look at that recipe for the poppy seeds uh, muffins. There they are. Come across very nice. And then you'll notice I had a document already stored in here, this uh, sweater. Let me go back there a second. I clicked on the wrong one. So let's go to sweater. And you'll see here I've got the word adult, size, chest, etc. Let's look for the word adult and see what's happened here with SharePoint. So if I go back to my home page, I could search from anywhere, but I'll type in the term adult and do a search. And what's really great is you'll see that that scanned document is now searchable. You can see that it's in Opportunity 2. And when I select it here, the PDF file will load for me, and I'll be able to see the word adult here. And it's very easy to find if I just type in here and type in the word adult. It'll be highlighted for me. And all this is out of the box. So let's take a look, and there it is. So what's really uh, fairly revolutionary, I would say, about this product is the following. We are not using any special processing software to load. Um, the images up into Sidekick. We wrote the utility so that you can scan with whatever um, scanning software you want to use. In many cases, that won't be any charge at all. It'll ship with your product. We like PDF, especially searchable PDF, because then the documents come to life, and you can then find these. It takes uh, between 5 and 10 minutes for them to be indexed, and now the paper becomes completely searchable. We also um, really like the scalability of the cloud with Office 365. And all of the components that you need to do this are written by us. You have the utility to say where are the scan files and where are they going to be loaded. You can see how easy it is to tag. If you need to modify what's being tagged, get in touch with us. We can do that for you. So I hope this really explained very clearly how we configure the utility how we scan it in, how it looks with a multiple 
um, file stack of papers and just how simple all this is. We have a lot of customers that have spent many thousands and thousands of dollars to do what we're doing at a fraction of the price and it's very common for us to come in replace an expensive proprietary imaging system with what I just showed you. So I hope you found this interesting and educational. Again, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. If you want to know more, go ahead and email me at info at skylightsystems.com and that's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E S-Y-S-T-E-M-S dot com and that's all one word. Info at skylightsystems.com. Dave Chenault, thanks again for your time.